Good morning, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and it's the end of the month so it means time for yet another music month video and for those of you who don't know what that is, it's when I choose five songs and one album that I feel represent a certain mood or theme or genre. And the theme this month is going to be melodic, magic, I don't know, that doesn't really mean anything does it? It's just going to be a load of songs that are kind of really nice to listen to and sort of ethereal and magic in that sort of sense. They're almost all primarily electronic based. So this is a load of kind of cool, glitchy, interesting electronic music that also has a really melodic and ethereal overtone to it, for the most part anyway. Oh, and I've been told by various people that it would be really useful if I could make a Spotify playlist out of these videos. So that's what I'm gonna do. I will have a link in the description to a Spotify playlist of all of the songs and the album that I reference in this video. And I'll hopefully, if I get the time, go through all of my other ones and create Spotify playlists of those as well. So track number one is by a producer called Haywire, spelt with a Y instead of an I, and is called Do You Don't You. This song is like my current big jam, so listen to it on a pair of really good headphones or really big speakers. It's just such a banger, it's got this really cool driving beat that goes all the way through it, and I love the way that the vocals are sort of layered and pitched differently and morph throughout the track, so you can never sort of exactly hear what Haywire's voice sounds like properly, but it just sounds so cool. The synth basses that have their filters changed throughout it, just, it's wicked. And the drop, like when the drop happens, if you're listening on good speakers or headphones, then it sounds incredible. It's got incredibly thick bass. Track number two is by Bob Moses and is called Days Gone By. I love me a bit of Bob Moses and the percussion that starts this track off really sets the tone for it. And it's one of those tracks that as soon as the kick drum comes in, you're just vibing off it and kind of bopping your head along to it. it like almost almost naturally it just happens, you can't really control it, it's, it's really cool. It's a significantly more relaxed song than the Haywire one that I referenced. It's just silky smooth, it just kind of ebbs and flows really really well. It's like it's just such a, a great piece of music to kind of listen to how it flows together. Track number three is by the legend that is John Hopkins and is called Emerald Rush. I don't really feel like I need to say much about this track. I just really strongly think you should listen to it. I mean, I've been a big fan of John Hopkins for years. I've got Immunity on vinyl and I listen to it fairly regularly. His production style is just so unique and his mixing and everything, it's, it's completely on another level to most people. It's some of the best produced electronic music you'll hear and there are loads of sort of glitchy influences there and some of it's really like like heavy and kind of hard to listen to but then he'll make a track that's just so beautiful and Emerald Rush I feel has kind of got all of that smushed into one track and I can't wait for his new album to come out because this was the lead single from his upcoming album but seriously it's just amazing I mean towards the climax of the track you get these vocals that kind of come in from nowhere and just build and build and it sounds so good just listen to Emerald Rush by John Hopkins and if you are going to listen to it I'd also recommend watching the music video for it at the same time because the music video is a kind of work of art in of itself. Also listen to the full edit because the full edit is a bit longer than the one that's on YouTube and it's got a much longer introduction and then when the main track starts out of that introduction it's so satisfying and yeah just listen to that song. Track number four is Olaf Arnold's most recent release and it's called Remember. Again I don't feel like I need to talk much about Olaf Arnold's. He's one of my favorite artists and composers and he has never released anything that I've found disappointing whether it's with Chiasmos, his kind of ambient techno side project or under his own name like his music is just always so good and he has such a unique style to it as well. Seriously, like Icelandic composers just make the best music. Rest in peace, Johan Johansson. This track starts off slowly with some of Olaf's signature sort of piano sounds and then there's this sort of interlude bit in the middle and then this drum beat comes in towards the end and it's a drum beat unlike things that I've heard on Olaf's work before and it just works so well in that context and it's really, really great to hear a piece of music by him that has all of his sort of signature sounds there but it's been developed more and that's the thing with artists you never want them to stagnate you know even someone as good as Olaf Ronalds if he just released for now I'm winter every time he released a new album it would get boring and it's really nice to hear him doing something that is kind of pushing his own musical categorization boundaries it's really refreshing and finally track number five on this list is by what so not it's called Gemini featuring George Maple it's such a soundscape this track and some of the more trap inspired percussive elements just add a really nice and unique flavor to it and the thing I love most about this track is just the variety of synth sounds that kind of pop up here and there at various different points throughout it obviously there's the main synth at the drop which is just spicy as f 
but there are also these little fat synth sounds that just pop up at various different points and I just think it sounds really cool and it makes it a really interesting track to listen to. Obviously killer vocals as well. And finally the album that I'm choosing for this sort of magical melodic electronic theme is by an amazing producer called Talamanca and is called Nowhere. I love me some progressive dream house and this is just such a great album for that. Now it's the sort of music that some people might find is a bit boring and repetitive and that's fine. But if you're on a long walk and you want music that just sort of takes over your head in a really ethereal and dreamy but somehow also rhythmic and head bopping sort of way then this is the album for you. Pretty much the whole album is four to the floor kicks and a sort of progressive house structure but it's just the production on it that makes this really shine through and also the more melodic sections when they come in it's really just like amazing. Makes you feel really sort of happy and nostalgic at the same time and it's also the kind of stuff that when those segments start you kind of end up walking in rhythm to the music and you think you're the coolest person in the world but anyone who sees you probably just thinks you're a massive twat. This album is perfect for those moments. I don't really have a favourite track from it, usually I would list three or four favourite tracks from this album but I just feel like it's something that I wouldn't necessarily say listen to these specific songs because they all have similar elements but they're all different at the same time but if you're going for a long nighttime drive or a walk in the evening or even if you're walking to work in the morning and you really don't have any motivation to do anything and you're hating your life and yourself as you're walking along, if you listen to this when these really nice melodic bits come in you'll feel about 10% better which is a good thing. So there we go that's the list for this month done and I'd love to know what you're listening to are there any kind of electronic-y tracks that have got really dreamy soundscapes to them that you're listening to at the moment and what do you think of them and what are they called let me know down in the comment section and let me know what you think of these tracks if you listen to any of them did you like them did you hate them you know what are your reasons behind that I'd just love to know all of that. Just tell me everything about it. Sorry if I seem a bit weird in this video. I'm incredibly tired and I've got a lot of quite stressful work on at the moment, but it's all good. Yeah, let me know what your thoughts are and what you're listening to down in the comment section. And thank you so, so much for watching. I really do hope that you've enjoyed this. Have an absolutely fantastic day and I will see you very soon.